Got Cappy running around, being cute as heck, but she's also being a devil child right now. Yeah, you're getting up to nonsense, aren't you? Look how cute she is. You just want to keep eating my bed, don't you? She's scratching like the base of the bed. Hmm? You're not supposed to do that. She also eats my hair at night. Oh my gosh. But you're cute. You're so cute. I can't kiss you because I have lipstick on. But you're so cute. I'm literally only wearing mascara, highlighter, and lipstick right now because today has actually been a very long day. Okay, this is the only good thing that happened today. Hello everyone, my name's Zelda and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, brought to you by my university and my degree in food science. Degree in the making, we're getting there. So for those of you who don't know, I'm currently doing my honors in food science and as a part of that we get to attend a bunch of seminars. I attended the SOFO seminar end of last year. It was virtual but they sent us a goodie bag of lovely things and I decided to unbox that on camera as my first unboxing and it was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to attend the SOFI seminar next week. And SOFI stands for South African Fragrance and Flavor something, something along those lines. I'll put it up here so you can see what it is. It's a two-day seminar I'll be attending next week. And with that, we got uh, this box this time. And it was delivered to the university for us. So no address or anything on here. It just says University of Pretoria, Grisalda Fisev, Department of Consumer and Food Science, Old Agricultural Building, yada, 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 the rest of the address. And like the uni's number, if you really want to call them. Now I'm just going to cut through all the tape so I can actually open this box. I wonder why it has our names on it this time. Like last time, we all just got the same envelope and it didn't matter who got what because everything was the same. But this time, it has our names on it. Fancy. It does make me feel fancy. Now let's give this a gentle shake. Yeah, I can't tell how much stuff is in here. There's definitely more than one thing. Um, it does have uh, this side up symbol on it, so I'm not gonna shake it too roughly. It's pretty heavy for how small this box is, hey? And there's nothing else on this piece of paper that had stuck to the top. It just got wet in the rain today. Now, for those of you who didn't watch my last video, we got a bunch of like food samples because I'm in food science, like different cool snacks, vegan alternatives, sugar alternatives, stuff like that. We also got like a mocktail. We also got like pamphlets, brochures, journals, stuff like that. Not a lot, but yeah, nothing that you really kept. You know, there wasn't like a pen or anything, you know? Also, the peanut galleries, the neighbor and boyfriend, Aiden. Hi, say hi. Hi. Yeah, he's watching me do this. So I've cut it open now and let's see what is in here. Hopefully like nothing that you guys can't see. I already saw a snack. Okay, there we go. We got snacks. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's hope there's no leaking this time. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so the first thing, I got a little notepad. It says, People, Passion, Innovation by Delhi Spices. Do you know how many notepads we've gotten recently? With the university starting and open day and stuff like that, they also gave us a few, so another notepad. Oh, then I have the Sassy Skin um, Shower Cream Tropical Escape pH balanced with vitamin A and E plus glycerin. Wow, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> Uh, this is a 400 ml bottle. That's actually pretty decent. Um, what does it say? Satis skin. Take your moment. The gentle, rich pH balance formula helps leave skin feeling soft. Take your moment to re-energize in an invigorating shower. Cleanse fragrance and indulge with Satis skin shower gels. pH balanced and dermatologically approved. Then it says all the usual for external use only, yada, 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 and different languages. And then it has the ingredients. And I swear everything has citric acid in it these days. Let's see what it smells like because it says, smell me. Oh my gosh, it smells like those like mango flavored um, like ice lollies that you suck on. So like super sweet. Here, you should smell it. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right? Let's see why it smells that way. Oh great, it just has fragrance in it. Oh man, I wanted to see what that smell was. Then we have matcha nacho cheese and jalapeno corn chips. Now this is a maize snack and apparently everything is a maize snack, but um, I am making a cowpea snack of all things. So I've been checking out the ingredients of like everything recently to kind of get an idea of what other ingredients are in there. I need to find out what stabilizer we can use and stuff like that. And also just because we've been studying what goes into food, I've been checking everything being like, what does go into food? We also have corn nibs. These are roasted mealy kernels. They're barbecue flavored. I know my sister loves them and I know Aiden loves them. So you're probably gonna eat this. Yes, I will. You don't really like them, do you? I don't mind them. Snack number three, yummy popcorn. Cream soda flavored. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no. 
Now, for those of you who don't know, cream soda is a fizzy drink we have here that is vanilla flavored, but it's green, okay? So this is green popcorn. It's vanilla flavored? It's vanilla flavored. Cream soda is yeah. vanilla. Yeah. I don't believe you. I'm serious. I don't believe you. <laughs> There's no chance. This has soya lectin in it, and I literally wrote a class test on it this morning. Anyways, I don't know if any of you are studying things that are applicable in the real world because a lot of coursework is like theoretical and stuff and you just do the coursework and you go home and go about your day. But the stuff I'm doing right now, like the thing I learned in class 20 minutes ago, I walk out the door and go, oh, you mean like that? You mean like that? Like I'm seeing what I'm learning everywhere and it's kind of weird. It's kind of like, huh, so that's been there this whole time. I hate it. I hope I'm not the only one who experiences this. I have a hard time explaining the exact feeling to people, but it's really weird to see exactly what you learned being applied in the real world. And it works the way you were taught that it works. Oh, I like this one. Okay, okay. Fruit man's pantry rusks. There's only two of them. <laughs> mini rusks. Oh man. Ingredients include flour, sugar, buttermilk, egg, and margarine. It does not have a best before. Oh, it does on the back. The 26th of December. I don't think they're gonna last that long. Now this has, you know, small business vibes. So I wonder how they ended up in this box. It looks like buttermilk rusks, which I actually prefer, but either way, I'm sure it'll be lovely. This looks like Turkish delight, correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't like Turkish delight at all. I'll probably try it. It says it is flavored by Nikola J flavors. And it comes with a cute little card that says FSSC certified. We've inspired senses for over 25 years. Thank you for supporting the 20th annual Safi seminar and workshop from the Nicola J team. And then all their details, what 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 It's a very cute bag, but I can't smell anything as I grabbed in plastic. So, oh, this one has nuts in it. Maybe it's new God. Then I have a pamphlet for Brew National. It is a cosmetics and skincare manufacturer factory shop. Oh, we got two more cheese and jalapeno corn chips. That's nice. You look very happy about this. Cheese and jalapeno, you know how good that's gonna be? <laughs> Jeez. It reminds me of that post on Instagram that I've seen a few times now about like, Adam and Eve couldn't resist an apple. Imagine it was a jalapeno popper. Yeah. Uh, there's something in bubble wrap that I'm very excited to get to, but I'm gonna get to that when I get to that. Oh, this is nice and heavy. This is Episode A cream with certain macarava. With Seto Macrigol, it is dry skin moisturizer, which will be good for me because now that we are in Johannesburg Dash, Pretoria, it's a lot drier. So I could do with the hydration. Like honestly, my hands feel like stiff from how dry it is here. Okay, well, it says it's an emollient for dry skin conditions such as eczema. It has no greasy afterfeel. It can be used as a soap substitute, like body wash. And it's fragrance and color free, which is all strange because it's kind of a fragrance and flavor affair but that's interesting application apply the cream to required areas use lukewarm water to work into a creamy lather and rinse off and then pat to dry so you can use it like a body wash mm. it might also be used as a moisturizer on very dry skin or used as directed by your dermatologist warning for external use only keep out of reach of children all that jazz it definitely is a trend for everything to be two in one these days like the toner and setting spray in one stuff like that Yo, it smells exactly like what you'd expect an unscented cream to smell like. Then we have One Wipe, an eco-friendly bamboo wipe. It's 100% natural bamboo fiber. It has organic aloe vera. It is 99.8% natural ingredients. It is vegan and it is cruelty-free. How lovely. Wow. One Wipe is a 100% natural bamboo fiber eco-friendly wipe. It is made in South Africa using sustainable ingredients, including organic aloe vera and locally farmed spearmint oil. It is alcohol-free and contains no parabens, petrochemicals, or synthetic fragrances. It's a biodegradable plant-based alternative to conventional wet wipes that is gentle on the environment and gentle on your skin. It does sound quite nice because I don't use makeup removing wipes and stuff like that often because I feel like they're such a waste. They're not biodegradable and stuff and they're expensive. So something like this is actually pretty cool. Also, like I hear that baby wipes can like clog drains and people just flush them all the time. So that's not very cool. This is a better alternative. There should be more initiatives like this. Not that I'm saying that this is the only and best brand out there for eco-friendly baby wipes and hand wipes and stuff like that. I'm sure there are other options, but just as a topic, it's a cool concept. <laughs> okay, there's something else. It's okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I remember when we spoke about, um, you know, I took a picture, I did my experiments today, I started with them, so I made a lot of agar, right? Looks like this. 
and I was talking to my love about um, how this looks a lot like this when my mom makes cool drink for us. Um, and that would be when she makes this cool drink for us. Exactly this one. <laughs> the coincidence, jeez. <laughs> I was like holding this on my lap while telling you about it and I didn't know. So this is the Amilla iced tea premixes. It's great tasting and preservative free. And this one is the lemon flavored one. It is a powdered iced tea that is a source of six B vitamins, iron, zinc, and vitamins A and C. And you just take this mix, you open it up, you pour it into one liter of water, you shake it up and you drink it. It is on the sweeter side, but it's so nice and it's so refreshing on a cold day and my mom makes it on a cold day. It's so refreshing when it's cold on a hot day and my mom makes it all the time. She always has this in the house. Yeah, this stuff is nice. I really hope I don't learn anything about this that makes me hate it. I've now seen something very exciting in the box and I can't wait to look at it. Okay, okay, but I'll leave it for last. So then I have a Chem Grit little lip ice. It's not the best looking. It's very plain, very basic. It has their number on it and it is made out of fully refined paraffin wax, micro N wax, petroleum jelly, light mineral oil, shea butter and flavoring. Ooh, oh my gosh. It smells like... Cocoa butter. Yeah, it smells like those little Labello flat ones. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, fine. I was gonna say it looks like just like a cheap lip ice for like marketing purposes, but um, it smells nice. I really hope it's hydrating. I just don't use the Labello ones anymore because they're not cruelty free. And then I got four different pens <laughs> from four different places, which just goes to show that they understand what people do at conventions like these. They just go around picking up everything they can pick up for free. So they just went ahead and gave me all the pens. That sparks a lot of joy. This one, oh, is an Amilla pen. The same as the iced tea. It just has like a tiny little logo on the side. It's just a normal white pen. Then I have a Deadly Spices pen and it goes with this notepad and it clicks. Then I have a very standard looking Chem Grid pen and this one goes with the lip ice. It also clicks. Then I have this wood looking Savannah pen, but not Savannah like the alcohol. I don't actually recognize this one, but it also clicks and it's pretty sturdy. You know, I've also gotten a lot of pens recently. Again, with the open dates of the university and the first day back, they handed out a lot of pens. So I have a lot of university pens now. But like, those are so flimsy. Super light and they feel yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Then I have this BM Block SPF 30 Plus Brew National cream yeah okay apply before exposure to the sun and reapply after swimming so this is a little tube of sunscreen now we have that they're a little lacking in the packaging department the whole aesthetic and stuff nothing's really there it's also not very consistent you see the logo doesn't really look the same it doesn't look like these two things are related but yeah sunscreen that's pretty cool i don't have any right now which sounds terrible i have like spf in my day cream and stuff like that but i don't actually have sunscreen i wonder why sunscreen is that a fragrance and flavor convention? Is it a convention? Is it a seminar? What is the real word here? I think it's a seminar. Either way. Then we have this in bubble wrap. I really want to see what it is. I hate pulling tape off a of bubble wrap because it wrecks it. Oh, there's so much tape, dude. Eucalyptus Smithy Refined Essential Oil produced by Yucca Forest. And that's it. That's all it says. Jeez, this thing is closed. How am I supposed to? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can smell it. Like the cap isn't entirely off yet. Yep, that's that's what that is. That is, it smells like Vicks. This does smell exactly like what I thought it would smell like. I mean, if you know eucalyptus, you do. It also smells like Vicks. So I feel like if I just go like, it'll open up all my sinuses. I don't think I own any other essential oils. I mean, I have argan oil, but that's not an essential oil. But this is the only essential oil I have now. Okay. And that bottle will last you a long time. That's not a tester, yeah. tester bottle. Yeah, it's a full size. It doesn't give a milliliter volume, but like it's pretty decent. I think it's 25 mil. Okay, now for the part I'm very excited for. There's only two things left, but... Um, still more. I know there's still more. I'm so excited, but... Mm. Do you guys remember in my storage declutter video where I said this? I'd love to go perfume shopping if anyone wants mm -hmm. to take me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah, I have two. Two little fragrance boxes. How cool is that? Perfume. Yeah, I think ah! so. And like, this is big. Well, it's not like massive, but this is not like a little sample. Like the other one I got was literally this big little spray tube. Like this is not bad. I I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. It's bigger than a tester size. Yeah, exactly. Yo, how would you say this one? This is for many. I think that's how you say that. It looks German. Oh, and this is what the bottle looks like. Mm -hmm. Very simplistic, clean, basic. It doesn't say anything other than the brand name. It does come with a little 
piece like this, which says, with compliments from Fermenig for good naturally. I guess this one is called Miss You. It is a spirited yet voluptuous fragrance for the bold feminine woman with a light-hearted side. Fresh, vibrant orange awakens the senses while the sensual heart unfolds in transparent accords of rose and jasmine before simmering into a lingering ambery vanilla musk. That's a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a really explanation. I can already smell it. Is it good or bad? It's familiar. You're gonna recognize it. Is it granny perfume? No, it's not granny perfume, actually. More middle-aged. It's a little granny-ish. It's, it's not bad. It's a little granny-ish. It is like that pink one we gave Tristan, but it's like less intense. It's more normal. I think everyone knows like a middle-aged lady in their lives that wears this. It has like a little hint of the red door my mom used to wear. Oh my gosh. That's what it is. I'm not smelling any of the variety of things they're saying. I'm just smelling the smell. I don't know how to smell perfume, so like... I don't know what to smell for. Huh? It's not like, you know, whiskey tasting, at least you know what you're getting into. <laughs> no, but this is very nice. That's very nice. I feel very pampered. But like, as nice as it is to get all this stuff, a ticket goes for a grand plus. And because we're students and we're being obligated to attend this, we're being sponsored to attend this and companies are paying for us to go. And because of that, we are obligated to go. And if we don't go and we get the goodie bag, we have to pay for the ticket ourselves. And I am definitely gonna make sure I go. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like you get this for free if you go. You definitely pay for all this stuff. I mean, I hope that's what the funds go to. I really hope the seminar doesn't take it and all these people just pay out of pocket. But anyways. Now that box looks cool. So I'm looking forward to what the bottle looks like. Now this is the Yogazi Fragrance Collection Perfume for ladies. Ingredients include fragrance, water, polypropylene glucol, ethanol, benzophenone for for external use only. If eye contact occurs, rinse thoroughly with water. Do not apply to broken or irritated skin. Discontinue use if any irritation occurs. Yada yada yada. Ah, we do not condone animal testing and we only use the finest ingredients available. So it's cruelty free. Um, it's a cruelty free. I like to think it's cruelty free. Why would you be against animal testing and still use? Anyways, anyways. Are you ready for the bottle? Yeah. Are you ready? Are yeah, you excited? I am. <laughs> like, this is what the box looks like, right? And this is what the bottle looks like. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. that that's kind of cool. It says all the same stuff on it. This one is called Scandal, apparently. Okay, does this come off, though? Yeah, this does yeah. come off. I was like, am I supposed to stick my finger in there? I guess you could if you wanted to. Oh, wow. It smells simultaneously familiar and a little sweet and a little bit like a house. Come smell it. Like a house? Like when you open a cupboard that's empty and hasn't been opened in a while? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it does have that like slight clothes staleness. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> it does linger. But do you see that like sweet that kind of stays? I like the aftertone. It smells, it smells quite nice. It smells like there's like hard candies. I like it, geez. You know like those hard like like sherbet candies you get at restaurants these days? Sort of. A little bit, yeah. Like very powerful version of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, I actually quite like it. It, it smells quite nice to me. Well, I think the bottle is cute. And I don't think either of these two is going to become like my new signature scent. But um, they're cool. It's nice to have some variety. I am not going to wear them right away because everyone else in the class is probably going to start wearing it. And then we're all going to smell the same. <laughs> and then finally, the box is empty. Now, this was a lot of fun. This is a good end to a long day. Thank you so much for doing this unboxing with me. I hope you had as much fun as I had doing this. I am going to enjoy all this stuff. But I'm first just going to put it back into the box so that I have access to everything when we're actually attending the seminar. But this is fun. I think I will consider attending seminars even after I'm done with university because you learn things, you meet people, and you get free stuff apparently. But then thank you so much for watching. I will link my other unboxing videos for you guys if you want to see them. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye bye. She's crouching because she can hear me scratching the carpet. Oh, she's doing butt wiggles. Come on. I know you want to do it.